Okay, so I'm going to show you a proof of concept. This is pretty cool. It's kind of like a, a bit of a, a lightning network um, LNURL magic trick. Uh, in the UK, we have, um, uh, when people, we go to pay for our coffees, uh, we can use our cards, we can do something called tap and pay, where we just tap the, the terminal, and then it does what's a, a pull payment. So instead of, in the Lightning Network, how we have to, you know, um, scan an invoice and then push, send the, the, the uh, funds, the terminal itself will pull the funds from our account. Now the way it does this is it has kind of limited access to the account. So using a, uh, a pull payment, it can only withdraw under 30 pounds per transaction. And then I think it's a max of like 150 or 200 pounds a day. So if someone gets your card, there's only so much limited uh, damage they can do. Now I wanted to try and simulate this. Uh, Paywall have just implemented a, um, a faucet in which we can set the, the time between increments um, and we can also set the maximum amount which can be withdrawn um, in each one of those increments. Now this is quite cool and we can also refill that faucet as well. So hopefully using this faucet we're going to uh, uh, replicate the, the functionality which we have on our tap and pay cards here, here in Europe. So um, to give it a label. Uh, so I'll just call it whatever because that's an internal label. Uh, the start balance, so this is how much I'm going to put into the faucet. I'm going to put 10,000. I'm going to pretend that the coffee shop I go to, um, each coffee is 1,000 Satoshis. Um, and I'm going to put 10,000 Satoshis in there. I'm even going to call this coffee because I'm just going to use this uh, LNURL withdraw just for getting out coffees. Um, amount of time between withdrawals, I'm going to drink a cup of coffee every 30 seconds. Obviously you could set that to something much higher. Um, I'm going to say I only want uh, a thousand, the ability to be able to withdraw a thousand satoshis. Okay, or well, let's say, let's say, let's say two thousand satoshis. Um, and then uh, somebody could set, um, you know, a thousand satoshis if they need to, uh, just in case the coffee costs a little bit more in, in a different coffee shop. So I click on next. All right, now I need to add funds to the faucet. Okay, so I'm going to scan. Excuse the camera on my phone. There we are. I'm going to pay. All right, payment sent. Good. There we are. Cool. So there we are. Our faucet is all set up. So here's our faucet here. Okay. Um, and we can get some uh, information so we can have like an email version of the LNURL faucet, an embedded PNG, which we can you know put in our, um, our website if we wanted to. We can also just get a link on Paywolf to, 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 to retrieve funds from the faucet. But we're going to go for the raw LNURL. So this is the actual LNURL link. Okay, we're going to copy this. Then I'm going to go to, because what I'm going to use for this is I'm going to use one of these tiny little uh, NFC stickers. And these are about, you know, if you buy them on bulk, you can get them for like 30p or, or 50p, 50p each. Okay, so I'm going to write some data onto this NFC sticker. I'm going to add a record. And then I'm going to go to custom URI because we need to put the URI lightning and then colon. Oh, right there. there we are. Paste. Okay. And then there's our there's our thing which we're going to scan onto our NFC thing. Right. So now we're going to write that. It's ready to scan. I'm going to approach my little NFC tag. Okay, we've written it onto the NFC tag. And now, we're gonna take our sticker, and I'm gonna stick it on, um, I'm gonna stick it onto one of my Buy Bitcoin stamps. Like that. So I've got my little Buy Bitcoin stamp, and this is gonna have the same functionality as, uh, as my bank card. So I've got my little Buy Bitcoin stamp there. There we are. Um, and now I put that NFC tag on there. So now, if I, oh, one moment. If I get my phone and then I approach it with the NFC tag, it'll say, do I want to open in blue wallet? Yes. And then it'll say, okay. It'll say you can max withdraw 2000, but the, if we imagine this is the, the merchant selling me the coffee, I'm going to set that to, it's only a thousand Satoshis. Create. And then he's going to pull the thousand Satoshis. Now you have to imagine, you know, 
this could have a, a better kind of UX experience. So maybe instead of it, the blue wallet or, or whatever, the terminal showing the maximum it can withdraw. Um, so with the card to be thirty pounds, or with this is is two thousand satoshis, it just shows a minimum of zero, and then the the merchant inputs the amount, and then the the, the person um, buy, uh, buying the coffee then verifies that, and then there we are, the merchant has just received um, their two thousand satoshis. So using LN URL withdraw, we're able to make uh, and simulate the exact same functionality which we have uh, for tap and pay uh, cards here in the UK.